Next up in the object properties, it's in the numeric values. And you can notice we can modify position, scale, orientate, twist, or change pivot points of on our object. So it's going from top, we have it scale, we have the rotation, twist. And in some cases, for example, if we go select um, terrain, we can even change some nicely properties. So like we can select and you can see we can kind of twist it. So let's give it slightly skew. You can apply interesting effects to the objects and to the terrain. And then sometimes we'll use this to create sharp peaks on the terrains. Same thing, so you can um, change position. We can scale up or down. Again, notice right here we have our numbers is modified as we're going. And also we can change our pivot point. And with pivot point, it is very important when we start working parent child and on some object that important be important because the pivot point of rotation may be way outside and you want to put on the middle. So in this case, you kind of enable preview move your icon and you can see we can change our pivot point maybe to the side and now when we um, apply some rotation or other things it will apply against this pivot point okay when we are sizing you'll notice icon has changed so we have it options to lock our proportions so in this case if we scaling or something we'll keep it our proportion to the right size and this is applied mostly to again our numeric value you can see now proportions when i switch they're all modified if i enable we just work with only one axis this way again notice when i did lock our proportions inside our numeric tab and i was moving right and tap so it does not apply locking inside our 3d view so this is will locking apply only when you work with the numbers inside the numeric tab in object properties next below we have the resize by the corners or locked okay so let's go ahead and next tab it's our animation tab and right here you'll notice first we have an icon disable animation this does work well when you have an object and you want to move around, but with automation keyframing or other things, you don't want to accidentally create. So you always can enable on this case, this object always will be stationary. It's do not animate it in our scenery. However, it's one effect if you do ecosystem on top of separate objects that will be animated move in a wind. It will just prevent this selected object from animation. Next, we have it forward animations and linking animations. Those two properties allow you to link to the parent child. In uh, some cases, when we have it with cameras, we can apply a little bit effect the object following, like creating maybe rubber effect or the camera with natural look. Okay, we also have it options to select motions on the predefined standard smooth look airplane. This is predefined type of the velocities for the selected objects. We have the ability of the currently track this object, uh, any other available objects in our scenery or a link as a parent child relation to specific objects as well. And you notice when you're linking, for example, to the main camera, now we have the respond is available. So in this case, we can take camera, for example, link to the sphere, set a little bit loose. So in this case, when object is moving, camera will kind of follow, but with little delay to create a little bit more natural look of the um, animations in this case. Object properties also can be changed depending on what type of object. So we we'll look on the per tree when we have a little bit more um, selection like right here. However, if we select, for example, sunlight or light object, you'll notice these icons is changed. They related directly to the object is selected. However, our animations are numeric. Some of the still enable except maybe for the skew or a size, it depends on the type of lighting. But this is properties is changed 
for the object we're selecting. Same like if we select the main camera, you can notice we have a different type of the object. And this is properties for the lights, main camera, as well a little bit more for the object we look when we're going to work directly with different type lightings or different presettings on a camera.